Okay, so uh, this is um, me trying out Kine Master Pro, the older version, the one that doesn't require a um, the Pro version that doesn't require a uh, monthly subscription, um, because apparently the devs on that video editor uh, actually, well, they decided that. Um, <laughs> that uh, their app is so awesome that when they got done jerking off to themselves um, it was necessary to create a version that and only one version that forces you to pay a monthly or a yearly fee five dollars a month or I believe like fifty dollars a year which to edit videos on your phone um, no um, <laughs> so seeing as they're not offering a pro version or a normal payment plan I downloaded the APK of the Pro version, and if they ever want to get back onto Earth and start being normal again, I will pay for the Pro version, but I can't right now, so. But this is actually a really good video editing app for Android. You just, now what I would suggest Googling the APK for the Pro version, downloading that and using it. However, if you download the Play Store, more than likely you'll be sitting there looking at an annoying, I have to breathe. Uh, you have to look at an annoying uh, watermark that says Kind Master Pro. I'm oh, sorry, Kind Master on, on your entire video. And who the hell is going to upload that shit? No one. And I sure as hell am not going to pay a motherfucking fee, a friggin' $5 a month, or fucking what? Let's see, five dollars a month, and then there's uh, fifty a year. No, absolutely not. Not happening. To edit videos on my cell phone or my tablet, fuck you. Not happening. All right. So uh, the only problem, the main problems I'm having with this uh, this uh, editing software is I cannot get the files from my HD PBR Rocket to work. No matter what I convert them to, I can't get it to work. Um, I have limited options right now. I can't use, um, if I can get it on my PC, which I don't really have one right now, I might as well just edit the video on my PC. But I'm actually going right now PC free. I don't have anything. I don't have a PC I'm building it right now, and that's about it. So I'm using my tablets and phones, or my Nvidia Shield right now, to edit my videos. And I'm kind of limited as to what I can do. So getting these files to work in this, it seems to be a pain in the ass. With things like Vitrim Pro or uh, Android Vid Pro, I was able to do that. But like what I'm doing right now is uh, recording commentary after I record my gameplay. And um, normally it's good if you don't want to be distracted during your gameplay. Um, also, if you want direct audio with your voice over it, with and you know using Android to do everything, it's good to be able to do that or something. I don't even know if that made any sense. But anyways, I, I don't even know what I got I was getting to, but um, I do know that Vitrim Pro and uh, Android Vid Pro accept video files that I was using, and if they didn't, I was able to convert them into something it would accept, um, such as the HTPBR Rocket would nice. not, the videos from the HTPBR Rocket would not actually show up in, um, in, uh, Androvid or um, Vitrim Pro, but if I could, I was able to use the programs to convert the files, and then they would be able to be seen in those programs, and then I would be able to edit them, do a little, little trimming and editing and whatever. However, both of those programs, neither one of them supports the ability to do a commentary um, over the gameplay or anything like that. Also, does not do transitions, uh, limited effects, with Android being the more complicated, better software for yeah, yeah. anything like that. Uh, Bitrip is better for more simple cutting and stuff. Trimming. But Android is good if you want to do a little bit more. However, this, Kind Master Pro, uh, has a lot of different features that you can use. It's just that. It doesn't want to accept my video files. Now, as far as if I record them on the device with like SCR Pro or um, Shout uh, screen recorder, which requires root, 
um, that it will import. It handles that fairly fine, but it's just that no matter what I convert these files to, if I have a file outside of what I'm using, whatever, <laughs> it just won't take anything else except for something I record uh, with this. In fact, it wouldn't even, when I used the Nexus 7, I made a recording, a video recording with the camera that's built into this Nexus 7 and it wouldn't take that. So, <laughs> it seems to be, it doesn't take much in the way of video files, which sucks. And even, that's the same for the version that's in the Play Store, I tried it out, because they do let you use it quote unquote free if you wanted to have a big watermark on your friggin' video. And it would do the same exact thing, so it's no better. Really, this seems to be the same exact thing, except it doesn't have the subscription um, tied to it, so at least you'll have the ability to download the old APKs. And that's the end of that video.